Hello Hall class. Today we're going to have an art lesson. We're going to think a little bit about this man who is a very famous artist. His name is David Hockney. David Hockney painted this picture quite a few years ago and this picture is very very famous. It's sold for this much money. Are you ready? It's sold for £70 million. And he painted two figures, somebody swimming under the water in this pool, and somebody's here, this man's looking at him. And it's in a beautiful part of the world, I'm not sure where it is. I like the paving stones down here. And I like looking at the lines that he's put in the water. David Hockney was born in Bradford in England. Some of you might have been to Bradford. Bradford is another city in Yorkshire, like Wakefield and Leeds and Sheffield. It's got a capital B because it's the name of the city, just like England is the name of our country. And capital letters for his name. D for David and H for Hockney. Now he lives in Normandy in France. So he doesn't live in the UK, in the United Kingdom anymore. He lives in France. This is his dog called Ruby. There she is sitting by him. He's outside. I think he's busy painting here. He's smiling for the photo, but we can't see the paper in front of him. But I think he will be sketching or painting. Recently, David Hockney has been busy painting lots of beautiful pictures, all to do with spring. And he's called this group of, of paintings this title. Do remember, they can't cancel the spring. And at the moment, because families are having to stay inside and lots of things have had to be cancelled, like shows and, and, and concerts and football matches, all sorts of things have had to be cancelled at the moment to keep us all safe. David Hockney has thought, well, actually, they can't cancel the spring. Spring will carry on happening, even though lots of us will have to stay inside for a lot of the time, apart from when we get our fresh air or exercise. Let's have a little look at some of his paintings. Now, we know about daffodils after Mrs. Prince's lovely assembly, and you made and painted and drew lots of them yourselves. They were brilliant. There's another painting that he did of daffodils. The daffodils in my garden now have all kind of drooped and they're dying and now there's some new little flowers growing called bluebells. Here's one of his paintings. I love the little bits of blossom on this tree here. Trees behind is beginning to grow leaves. There's another very pretty tree. This tree here has got lots of lovely white blossom. Blossom grows on trees that develop fruit or nuts. This tree is another tree with a little bit of blossom. It's got a very wide trunk. That tree looks like it's quite an old tree. I like the way he's painted a shadow here. Can you see? Just on the ground. And then this work shows the tree a little bit closer. You can see how he's used lots of different colour and shading to make that tree trunk look like real bark. And the way that he's painted and drawn his branches Little tiny bits of green on them, little twigs sprouting. If you look closely at the hedge, you can see some tiny dots 
little dots. He might have used a special brush to do that. It looks a little bit like pointillism, doesn't it? When we did our Christmas paintings, we used pointillism for our calendars. And on this one, he's kind of gone over the, the branches and the twigs with an extra little line of paint. So those branches kind of stand out a little bit more. This one's interesting. This is looking down on a, a bucket. It looks like this bucket is made out of metal and it's outside and it's been used as a plant pot. So inside there's some very pretty little spring flowers growing. Maybe some primulas, a little daisy or two here. Wow, look at that. This is a little tree house and there's a ladder that people can climb up and stand or sit in the tree house. And the little bits of blossom coming out. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Different shades of blue, light blue here. And then as you get further up into the painting, sort of a medium blue and at the top, a darker shade of blue. In class, we added a tiny bit of black paint to make a colour go darker. Can you remember? And to make a colour go lighter, we added white paint. Those lovely trees. I thought actually, maybe, wow, we could join them together like this and imagine looking out on those lovely trees. If you would like to draw, or if you have paints, any, any spring trees, and if you would like to send me or Miss Creaser a photo of your work, we'd love to see it. I hope you enjoyed that little talk about David Hockney and his artwork. Okay, Hull class, keep safe. Bye.